This video looks at two sections of the mark scheme. One is number six and that's to do with the plan and number seven which is to do with your navigation system. Basically you need to draw, either hand draw or use a computer to help you uh, create a plan of what your multimedia product is going to look like. Um, at this stage you probably have chosen the website so you need to sketch out your web pages and you need to sketch out your navigation system so you've got to show how do all the pages link together. Now you were given a checklist uh, which is here. Uh, the checklist was basically the things you needed to include on your pages. So you've got uh, different types of pages, you've got a home page, activities page, cafe, contact, find page, location, that kind of thing, and a booking form page. And this master page was whatever you put on the master page, it will appear on all of the other pages. So you should have worked your way through that checklist um, as you went through, making sure that on your designs for the home page you had a title, logo, nav bar, and that sort of thing. When it comes to images and videos and information, the students who lose marks are the ones who just write things like image or video. Um, you really need to explain what is the image going to be of, what is the video going to be of, what photos are you going to have in your gallery, what is the information about. Now if we take a look at some example designs, here's an example hand-drawn design for a web page. Uh, this is uh, a page that, you know, for the iPad mini. We've got a clear navigation bar at the top, we've got a search bar, it's all been annotated, we can see what the videos are going to be of, what the pictures are going to be of, kind of been given an, an idea of what the pictures are going to look like roughly. That's not really necessary but it is a nice little touch. We've also got a little bit of annotation talking about what fonts are going to be used. That would have been improved if they said what font size, um, if it was going to be bold, italic, that sort of thing. Uh, so if we compare it to the actual finished product, there's the design and here's the final version. You can see that the two look very similar. A really good design is one that you could give to somebody else and they could look at that design and go, yeah, I know exactly what it is I need to produce. Uh, and they could go away and make the product without asking you any further questions. If you are worried about hand drawing, you could always do it on, uh, on the computer. Again, this one has started to be annotated, but it does need a little bit more annotation. We've got information about what the photos are going to be of, what the information is going to be about. Uh, again, we need to include information like what the fonts are going to be, that sort of thing. But it gives you an indication about how you could design it if you wanted to do it on a computer. Um, and that's it, that's how you get a high marks. So just if we go back to the uh, mark scheme, you can see that for a higher mark, you need to uh, make it clear which assets are which. So that's all to do with the annotation, saying what is the picture of, what is the information about, that sort of thing. Being able to justify why you've designed it that way as well is important. Um, and if we looked at the project report, you could also see that here you can talk about some of those things like fonts, sizes, and the color of the titles, main text, navigation bar, hyperlinks, that sort of thing. Um, and like I said, the better you do your design, the more likely you are to get a good mark for it. And also it will help you build your products later on because you'll know exactly what it is you want to produce and how you're going to do it.